This is one of multiple videos discussing IP subnetting. I've received numerous questions with regards to IP subnetting, and I'm going to try and answer a lot of them through these videos. So here's a question for you. Will PC1 on the left be able to ping PC2 on the right in this topology? PC on the left is configured with an IP address of 10.1.255.1 slash 17, and the PC on the right is configured with an IP address of 10.1.128.2 slash 17. In this topology, I'm using Cisco routers instead of Windows PCs, as it's important for you to learn the Cisco CLI, and it's important for you to learn commands available on Cisco devices. So show IP interface brief shows me the IP address configured on the gigabit 00 interface of this router. Show IP interface brief shows me the IP address configured on gigabit 00 of this router. Show run interface gigabit 00 shows me the configuration of the IP address. And we can see that over here as well. And show IP interface Gigabit 00 shows us the configuration of router 2. And same on this side, show IP interface gigabit 00. That's the IP address of router 1 acting as PC1. Here's the IP address of router 2 acting as PC2. So will these two routers acting as PCs be able to ping each other? So ping 10.1.255.1. Router 2 is able to ping router 1. We can actually see that in real time by using a debug IP ICMP command. That debug allows us to see ICMP traffic in real time. ICMP is the protocol used by ping. In this example, I'll send a single ping to router 1. Ping succeeds, and we can see that a echo reply was sent back to router 2 with a source IP address of 10.1.255.1, destination IP address of 10.1.128.2. So how do we know that they are in the same subnet? Show run interface gigabit 00. Show run interface gigabit 00. You need to look at network and host portions. 255 means that the first octet is network. 255 means that the second octet is network. Here, however, we've got 128 in the network portion. So it becomes a little bit more tricky to work out host and network portions. So let's write that out together. 10.1 is fairly simple. That's a network portion. However, 128 in binary equals one followed by seven binary zeros. I'll just put a space here to make it easier to read. Obviously that space doesn't exist, but I'll just do that for clarity of reading. So this is the IP address portion, and this is the mask. A binary one in the mask indicates that that portion is part of the network. Zeros in the mask indicate that this is host portion. So in this example, the network portion of the address equals 10.1 in decimal, and then the first binary bit in the third octet. If we look at this address here, 10.1 is network portion based on that. That's the same as what we've got over here. But in the third octet, we've got 255. 255 in binary is eight binary ones, and again, I'll put a space here just for clarity. The mask equals 128. So in this example, the network portion is the first bit, which is the same as 128. So if you look at the address here, 10.1 first binary bit is network, and the same is true here. 10.1 plus first binary bit in the third octet is network. The rest of the address is the host portion. So I'll write it out fully. 10.1.255.1 in binary equates to 
zero 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 one zero one zero that's ten dot seven binary zeros and one binary one that's one dot eight binary ones followed by seven binary zeros and a binary one So that is the address in binary of 10.1.255.1. And if we look at the mask, we've got eight binary ones in the first octet. So the first octet is network. Second octet is also network. But in the third octet, we have one binary one followed by seven binary zeros. So this portion is the network portion. This portion is the host portion. So blue is host. Red is network portion. If we look at the other address used in the network, which is 10.1 dot one twenty eight dot two the host portion is different but the network portion is the same so these two devices even though they have different host portions are still in the same subnet based on that information there so they are in the same subnet and hence the device on the right can ping the device on the left. Ping succeed and we can see the debug output on the screen. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.